and welcome to the cooking show extraordinaire, Babble and Bake. Yay! Oh, you're so cool. This is the very first official Babble and Bake in my very own apartment. Look at that plant. Look at that plant. Look at that pot. Look at this pink tile. It's so cute. One of the main reasons why I bought this apartment is because the kitchen and the bathroom has this like super adorable pink tile. This is so me. This is, this is screaming by me. Anyways, here we are in the apartment. Isn't this a good time? Today I'm going to be making brownies, something I've made myself about 40,000 times. I am a gigantic brownie fan. I will take brownies over cake, cupcake, cookies, ice cream. I will take brownies over all of that any day. I'm a brownie boy. That's actually like a really cute name, like a brownie boy. Isn't that something that has to do with the Boy Scouts? Anyways, I'm a brownie boy and I'm going to be making brownies today. I've actually yet to bake anything in my kitchen. I haven't baked anything, so this is the first time I've baked anything in here. It might be a little bit problematic, but we will see what happens. Topic-wise, I asked you guys what you guys wanted me to talk about, and I got a lot of varied things, but nothing like super specifically. So I picked out three things that I thought I would just chat about, you know, just talk about like we always do on a Wednesday video a good old babble <laughs> the first thing and the thing that you guys really wanted to know about was my mental health and how I am doing which is very sweet of y'all to care because that actually means a lot to me because I do live by myself and sometimes I do forget that people care I'm sorry there's a truck outside there's also someone like mowing their lawn or like blowing 35 hair dryers there's just constantly noise in the city and I really live in the city, so it's, I'm sorry if you hear stuff. So let's talk about my mental health and how I'm doing. I'm actually pretty okay. I get why you guys want to know because I'm sure that you guys are going to be in a similar situation very soon or right now or in a year and you guys kind of want to know what you're going to be like mentally, but I'm kind of in a very weird mental state if I'm going to be very honest. It's super hard to explain. Side note, you know what's super good? Just the brownie powder. So good. I'm making Baker Joseph's gluten-free chocolate chip brownie mix from Trader Joe's. Love me some Trader Joe's. To sum up how I feel mentally right now, I feel like I'm in a video game. Everything I do feels super surreal, like I'm just gonna wake up one day and everything not really be here. And I've been tweeting about it a bit. It feels like I'm invisible, but at the same time, it feels like everyone's staring at me because I'm the only person on earth. And it also feels a little bit like anything I did would have no consequences. That sounds super weird, but like it feels like I'm in a video game. So like it feels like I could throw that chair right there out of my window and then like my window would just like regenerate and like nothing would happen. I like go in and out of this weird mental state where nothing feels real and everything just feels like it's not actually happening. I don't necessarily feel bad. It just is weird, it's different. It's not something I'm used to. One fourth cup of oil. I <laughs> Yay, Conan did buy little measuring cups. Good job, Conan. <laughs> I had my very first class yesterday and it just kind of felt like it wasn't really happening. Like the teacher was talking and I was super out of it and people were talking to me and I was super out of it. Like I tweeted the other day like, why does everyone sound like they're speaking in the Sims language? Like it just feels like I'm the only person on earth. But I think it just, that's just kind of the way that being in a city feels because there's so many people. You feel like you're just like this tiny little ant in this giant world. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm super happy because this is like everything I ever wanted in life, but it's just super surreal for sure. As far as I can tell from all my other college student friends, I think this is just how everyone feels when they first move. It feels like nothing is actually happening and you're just kind of 
this weird floating rock. Fine. The mix, it's an odd state of being and I think it's going to pass pretty soon. It comes and goes and I think it's just kind of a normal emotion to feel when you're going through something as dramatic as moving from a tiny town into the middle of Los Angeles. <laughs> oh, so good. I love brownies. <laughs> Living alone is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. <laughs> because you can be a weirdo goofball, which I am normally anyways, and no one can see you except for the hundreds of people who could probably see into your window from their apartments. <laughs> I might just eat all this brownie batter right now. You know what we need to do? We need to add more chocolate chips because if there's anything I know about brownies, is that the more chocolate chips, the better. Let's take an ad break. This video is sponsored by Skull Candy. Yeah! These are their incredible Hush 3 wireless headphones. Completely wireless. No cord. Cordless. Bluetooth. Do you know what that means? That opens up like a whole new world of music listening opportunity. You can do this, 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 even this. They take one button to connect, have 22 hours of battery life, and are great at noise canceling. I can't hear myself. What they're exceptionally good at, and Skull Candy won't even mention this, is bedroom dance parties alone by yourself. No cords means you can flail your arms as hard as you want. And that horrible thing where you rip the cord out and it ruins the music listening vibe will never happen ever again. If you'd like to purchase one of their assortment of colors, I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you very much, Skull Candy, for sponsoring this channel. Yay! Next topic y'all wanted me to talk about. Let's check. Music. You guys wanted me to talk about music. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you will know that I am currently in the execution of working on my EP. The EP is gonna be probably four to six songs, maybe more. All the songs are already written, but we haven't even touched production yet, so the EP isn't gonna come out anytime soon. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hopefully within like the next four to six months the EP will be out and there will be a music video hopefully with one of the singles and there'll be single releases and it's so exciting and we're working on contracts right now and it's <laughs> that's how I feel about it like literally all I ever think about non-stop is writing music it's all I ever think about <laughs> I'm writing music all the time I'm writing music on the toilet I'm writing music in the shower I'm writing music during class I'm writing music as I'm walking around I'm writing music as I'm eating it's just it's a constant thing for me and I can't wait to show you guys some of the other music that I'm making and it's exciting and it's, it just, it's just, it just got, it's, meh. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And I think you guys are going to really like the music. I'm not gonna say anything about the music other than I really love it. Lil Conan had a crush on someone and it definitely ruined his life so he wrote a couple songs about it. There's also gonna be a lot of your favorites. That's all I'm gonna say. You guys don't be sneaky. I <laughs> should probably put this in a thing on my jogger. We need to grease. We do need to grease. Okay, let's do that. Grease lightning. Ah, soy sauce. And the last topic you guys wanted me to talk about, what? I'm going to beat you with this stick of butter, whoever is out there. Blow in some leaves. Just leave them. Just leave the leaves. It's fine. I'm fine with them. Just leave the leaves. The last topic y'all wanted me to talk about was UCLA and what that's like. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I had my very first classes yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And I was really bored. I think that high school gives you this false expectation that like college classes are going to be super exciting. But you know, college classes are kind of like high school classes. The thing that's exciting about college is like moving out and meeting new people. But the classes themselves, I was like, meh. Although it is different in the sense that like you get to actually pick what you're taking and you're not being forced to like be in some math class if you don't want to be in a math class, which is super cool. And yesterday was just syllabus day, so we were literally just going over like a paper that we had already printed out and had already read. It was just like a boring syllabus day, like, you know, it was whatever. I'm sure it's going to get much more exciting. I'm really nervous about having homework, but I haven't gotten any homework yet. Hopefully when I start getting a lot more homework, I can still be making regular videos for you guys and I can still be making my music. <laughs> the thing that I found most exciting about going to college so far has just been like the change in environment and the change in people that I meet and how just diverse and different UCLA is compared to my town in Texas. I was one of very, very, very few Asians at my school. 
and here it's mostly Asians. And here there's people of different gender orientations and sexualities and races and homes where they're from and it's an incredible thing to be surrounded by people who are different. I love that so much. <laughs> Going to high school I was so used to certain types of people so I love being able to be myself and it not have to be like a fight for me to be myself because although I was myself while I was living in Texas it was a constant battle of sneers and insults and just bad stuff. So yeah, overall, I'm a very happy boy. If you are an unconventional human living in an environment where everyone wants you to be a certain way though, be yourself. Fight it because if you're not gonna do it, who else is gonna? I don't blame the kids from my high school for being that way. It was the way that we were raised. It was the society that the parents taught their kids and those kids taught their kids. But people who are enigmas in their environments we need to do our best to show the world that we are who we are and ignorance and being rude just isn't tolerable. Fight them by being yourself. Time to put this in the oven. I'm so excited, I really hope this works. Uh, no, um, I'm just gonna, oh, why is it, okay. They're done. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> Goodbye. Mm, so good. I love my brownies like slightly undercooked fudgy. God bless. Where were brownies invented? Anyways, that is the end of this bubble and big. I'm going to eat a lot more of these brownies. In the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think about what I talked about today. And if you're a college student, you also feel the same weird feeling I'm feeling as well because maybe that'll give a little bit of consolidation to other college students who also feel like they're living in a weird video game where nothing is real. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this bubble and bake. I hope you enjoy the and bake in my new kitchen and thank you so much for watching my video it means the whole world to me so thank you I'll see you guys in a few days with a brand new video God bless and goodbye